Okay, so before I discuss with you um, solving total resistances of passive networks as in sample problem 2.9, let me just let me just show you um, a multi-sim, multi-sim 14.0 from National Instruments. Okay, so normally ito yung ginagamit ng um, EEECE and COE when they simulate tier kits. So, when we are solving for the total resistance of our tier kits, we use ohmmeters. In, uh, in practical application, we use ohmmeter para lang ma-measure yung total resistance. Okay, so, let me give you a simple example. Okay, let's place a basic resistor. This is 1 kilo ohm in value. Let me just, let me just, let me just copy this. So, I'll place another resistor. I'll connect this in series to each other. Okay, so let's say this is terminal A and terminal B. So, I'm going to put here a multimeter or multimeter. Okay, so yung multimeter natin, it can measure um, current, voltage, um, resistance and decibels. Okay. So, for for resistances, pwede natin ikabit yung ohmmeter natin any way we like. It can be connected in parallel, it can be in series, depending on the terminals or depending on depending on, the, on which terminals you're measuring resistance. So, halimbawa, Gusto natin kuhanin yung total resistance ng dalawang series connection na to. We know that's 2,000 ohms, di ba? Kasi series connected. We simply add the two. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan ikabit mo siya dun sa dalawang dulo nung series connection natin. Ibig sabihin, i-measure ni ohmmeter ngayon yung resistance on the uh, connected circuit. So, since sabi ko natin before, wala namang terminals, di ba, ang ating resistances. So, kahit saan mo ilagay yung positive and negative probes of your multimeter. But usually, we connect, of course, the positive probe on the positive line and the negative probe on the negative line. But if it is a passive network, of course, we do not know which one's the positive or the negative line, di ba? So, kahit saan. Okay. Next is... For the purpose of using multi-SIM, I have to place a ground here just so I wouldn't have a note of error. Para lang hindi ako magkaroon ng note dito sa ilalim na may error dun sa circuit ko. Because in practical applications, there should be grounds for safety for purposes. So, we connect the ground. Ano ba tayo? connect the ground to the negative terminal. Okay. So, we're going to run this and we are expecting that this will measure 2,000 ohms or 2 kilo ohms. We're going to run this and as you can see, I do not have a note of error here. The circuit is already running. Current is already flowing the circuit. Let me measure resistance. Yeah. So, yan. It shows you you have 2 kilo ohm resistance for the circuit. Okay. Paano ba gumagana si ohmmeter? Okay. So, for all digital multimeters, or for all multimeters that we have, meron palagi yung um, installed terminal ah, sorry. Meron palagi yung installed voltage supply. So, it's either 1.5 volts lang, maliit lang, na battery yung laman ng meter na, meters natin. So, yung battery here, parang nangyayari dito sa circuit na to, yung iyong ohmmeter, ang iyong voltage supply, since meron siyang 1.5 volts. Okay. Pero, syempre, yung rating ng, volt, ng internal voltage ng ating meters, it depends upon the meter you are using. May iba-ibang rating na meron. But, usually, since for 
testing purposes lang naman ito, maliit lang yung normal na nilalagay na voltage and that is usually 1.5 volts. So, ang ginagawa ni ohmmeter dito is, yung 1.5 volt supply niya will produce current to flow through the circuit. And if current flows, ang gagawin ni ohmmeter mo is measure the voltage drop in the circuit and compare to the current delivered using ohm so you get yon yung resistance na meron tayo okay so you have 2 kilo ohms for this ngayon may kita nyo din sa sample problems natin sa sample problem 2.9 natin let me show ito kita natin dyan na kapag nag measure tayo ng resistance on other terminals aside from A and B Haba, nag measure tayo kay CD kay EF mapapansin nyo na meron kang open circuit dyan. Or, or um, a component that is not part of the circuit. Parang may nakalutang na component, kumbaga. So, let me, let me stop the simulation and mimic the example. So, dun sa example, may nakalutang na isang resistance. Diba? Let's say we connect this in between R1 and R2. So, anong nangyari ngayon dito? Yung closed circuit mo ngayon is from the multimeter all the way to the resist to the first resistor and back. Ito yung closed loop natin. Ibig sabihin, kapag nag-supply ng current ito, yung kuryente niya, dito lang yun iikot. ba diba? Hindi siya magpa-pass through R2 because R2 is already an open circuit. Hindi siya nakakonect dito. It doesn't, co it doesn't produce a closed circuit. So, if it does not produce a closed circuit, this is an open circuit, hindi dadaan dyan yung kuryente na sinusupply ng meter natin. Therefore, mawawalan siya ng effect sa circuit. Kaya kapag, kung, wala, kung mawawalan siya ng effect sa, sir sa circuit dahil siya ay open, you simply neglect this. Ang mame, ang mame measure ngayon ng multimeter natin, ito lang 1 kilo ohm na to. Tanggal na to dito. Once it's open circuit. Why? Because the current does not flow here. It's not connected to the closed loop. Or, it doesn't give continuity to the current being supplied by the meter. Thus, hindi niya masasense kung ano yung voltage dito dahil wala namang voltage drop. Dahil wala namang current na dumaan. So, in short, neglect niya lang yan. Therefore, yung mamimeasure ngayon ni multimeter natin, let's run this again, will now be 1 kilo ohm na lang kasi siya lang naman yung nandun sa circuit natin. Okay. Ngayon, ang next question dito is, paano naman kung shorted? Okay, balik natin. Let's say, yung meter mo is still connected to R2, but nagkataon, si R2 ay shorted. Okay. Let me put a wire that short circuits R2. So, may wire na nagkoconnect kay R2, diba? Naka-enclose si R2 ng simple wire. Tapos, Yan. So, um, our multimeter, our multimeter is still connected in series to R1 and R2. Our, the intention is, the multimeter being connected in series to R1 and R2. Ang nangyari nga lang, R2 is enclosed by a wire. So, uh, in short, this is short-circuited. Okay. And if it is short-circuited, according to our principle in the discussion, once a component is short-circuited, it acts as if there's zero resistance in it. Dahil nga kapag, di ba sabi natin, kapag short-circuited, current is ideally infinite. So, if current is ideally infinite, resistance will be approximately zero. Kasi sobrang laki ng kuryente, ibig sabihin walang resistance na nag-exist dun sa loop. Therefore, kung si R2 ay na short circuit, mag-aact yan as wire na lang. Once it is shorted, it will act as if it is a wire. So, ibig sabihin, um, ideally, we're, go we're going to consider walang resistance ngayon dito. So, parang na-neglect siya. Pero that doesn't mean mag-open ng circuit. Ina-neglect natin siya na para bang wire na lang ito. So, kung gusto mong i-redraw at naging wire na lang ito, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. So, kunin ko lang to si R1. This is still R1, ha? I cannot... Hindi ko pwede maguhin yung label kasi hindi siya irarun ng circuit. Let me get another multimeter for this. Yan. So, itong R1 mo, connected siya dun sa multimeter natin. 
Tapos, si R1, si R2 magiging wire na lang. So, wire na lang ito. And then, we are going to connect this to the multimeter. As of course, we'll get a ground again. Yan. Ganyan ngayon yung itsura niya. Ito, if R2 is short-circuited, magiging wire na lang siya. Pero as you can see, nung maging nung mag-zero yung resistance ni R2 because of the short circuit line, naging wire siya, pero close pa rin yung circuit. Okay. So, let me get the, let me get the display of multimeter 2. If we run this, so, since wire na lang ito, di ba? Short, in the short circuit um, illustration, since wire na lang ito, dapat ang ma-measure ng multimeter 1, 1 kilo ohm na lang. And, ganun, yung, ganun din yung magiging itsura ni multimeter 2 na ito. So, let's run this. Ayun. So, kahit meron kang R2 dito, since shorted siya, naging wire na lang yun. Kaya, ang mamemeasure na lang ng resistor, ng multimeter na to, itong resistor na to, which is 1 kilo ohm. Kung gusto mo, pwede mong i-redraw ito para hindi ka malito. Ano, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Music